Big Playback is brought to you by Abby's Legendary Pizza and Cronesburg Electric. Hello there, Central Oregon, and welcome back to the Big Playback, a different studio look with the same exciting football to share with all of you. We're in week six of the football season. That's hard to believe. And now week three of conference play. Let's start in Bend with the Lava Bears hosting the Summit Storm. Bend High started their pregame celebrating the seniors on senior night. Well, congrats to all of you Lava Bear seniors. Into the action, opening kickoff, the Storm, they arrived. Ari Villano returning the kick for the Storm. Fake pitches to his teammate, surges down the sideline. One man to beat, it's the kicker. Tegan Lindsay, though, with a huge touchdown saving tackle. Storm kept the momentum going. Quarterback Jimmy Hughes throws a deep ball to wide receiver Mac Bledsoe, who makes the leaping catch at the 10 yard line. Those Bledsoe's in football, they know what to do. All right, not scoring on the first drive, but they get it back. Summit's offense continues to move the ball. Running back Sam Fassett runs it in for an easy touchdown 6 0 Summit. Very next drive, Hughes dumps it off to senior running back Sam Stevens, who whoop, makes a man miss, collects some ankles, working for every single inch, too. Looking like CNC with those moves. Why did the Panthers ever train him? Who knows? Sorry, Dylan. The Storm keep marching and say, hey, let's just give the ball to Sam again. Great strategy. And that's exactly what they do. Stevens puts the Storm up two scores. But... Here comes the Lava Bears. Tight end Gus Karbstein takes the handoff, gets around the corner. He's reaching. He dives for the end zone. Touchdown. Wait a minute. Ref called it short. Just kidding. They changed it minutes later. What a roller coaster. Lava Bear defense. You know what? They're doing all they could for their team as well. They get not one, not two, but three Takeaways, three turnovers. This one, an interception by safety Owen Thomas. He sees nothing but open field, takes it back for six, making it a one point game. But it will not be enough as Summit scored two more touchdowns. They beat the Lava Bears 28 to 12. Over in Redmond, the Panthers hosting the undefeated Mountain View Cougars. Dude, I also love football season. What a coincidence. Panthers wasting no time on the first drive of the game. Take it all the way down the field. Then they let their quarterback, Colton Horner, do it himself on the keeper. Touchdown, Panthers. A great opening drive. Very impressive. Connor Crum and the Cougars' explosive offense. They look to respond. Fake the handoff. Sling it to the tight end. Matt Blankenship over the middle for 15-plus. First down for the 6'5 senior tight end. Little dumb pass here to Jake Lewis. He gets close to the first down, then he's smothered out of bounds by Wyatt Horner. It's a nice tackle. Crum near the goal line, gets under some pressure, flicks it up to his man Gage Ray, who's in for the touchdown. If there's a will, there's a Ray. A Gage Ray. Cougars even the score. Crum, he's leading the offense once again as he's done all season, but there's no one open downfield. He's scrambling, looking for an opening, gains a couple yards, but then is hammered by Joseph Olmeda. Something about those Olmedas, man, they like to tackle. Panthers on offense, a little hot potato toss to Ethan Powell on the jet sweep. He turns the corner, but then is trucked by Trey Wallace. These teams playing some big boy football today. What a hit. Horner sitting in the pocket, a little bit of time, connects with Wyatt Horner across the field for a big game. Slips out of a tackle for some extra yardage. The Horner to Horner connection is strong, but the Cougars offense is stronger. Mountain View gets a couple scores late and they win this one 21 to 10. Just a few minutes down the road at Ridgeview High School, the Ravens trailing Caldera 14-8 at the half, not stopping the kids in the student section and in the stands from having some fun. Look at those kids, adorable. All right, attempting a field goal, Caldera is, but no way, it's blocked by the Ravens. Noah Zamko gets his hands high in front for the block. How about some special teams love? What a play, Noah. Adam Willington now for the Ravens, throws it over the middle. But he's nearly picked twice. Goes through the hands of Chase Sorensen and Ty Hattenhauer can't grab it off the ricochet. But the Ravens do punt it away. Thomas Morris hands this one off to Sorensen on offense now. Heading towards the outside, cuts it back inside, bounces back outside, and spins out of bounds after a huge game. 
Let's talk a little smack afterwards, too. I heard that. You know what? So did the Ravens. A few plays later, Sorensen gets the ball again, but he fumbles it. Wesley Whitmer jumps on it, and it's Ravens' ball. Millington with some nice protection here. And he throws, I repeat, a perfect, a perfect ball to Whitmer along the sideline. Thread in the needle. Whitmer smells the first down on his finger and then points that way to let everyone else know what's going on. No points, though, for the Ravens. Caldera with the ball, and the handoff goes to Derek. If I call you Derek one more time, your mom will kill me. Taroli cuts it outside, puts on the Jets, is eventually ripped out of bounds after a huge gain and a Wolfpack first down. Fourth quarter, Caldera needs some insurance points. Caleb Gilbert gets the handoff, and this time is fighting through tackles. Get off me, little boy. He's a little shaken up after the tough running, but he gets up all right after a few seconds. Sorensen, redemption time. Gets the toss, finds his blockers, and finds a walkthrough path to the end zone. Caldera wins this one on the road, 21-8. to eight.